So something I've been thinking about is McDonald's and the experience I had the other day at the drive-thru. When you go through the drive-thru, it's always a concern and you're using a coupon. It's a concern. Do I, do I announce the coupon at the mic or at the window when I'm paying? I've long ago come to the decision to pay it, or I'm sorry, to use the coupon at the window because so many times in so many different fast food restaurants, it's just not McDonald's, but it was also Burger King. And you would go to the microphone and, and do your order and say, well, here's my coupon. And the person would say, well, drive through, I'll take care of it at the window. So I stopped bothering to even mention the coupon at the mic and we just deal with it at the window and for a long time it hasn't been a problem until a few days ago i go to mcdonald's i order my food at the mic pull around to the window open up my cell phone and read off the code for the coupon and the lady at the register says oh we can't do i don't want to i don't want to do that from now on, you give your order back the mic because blah, 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 something about her freaking register and what she has to do now. And it would take her like an extra six seconds. My God. So I said, hey, every, you know, every time I go to a fast food restaurant, they, they tell me something different. They tell me, do it at the mic, do it at the window, back and forth, this and that. So I'm, I'm done. I'll just do, I'll just do it at the window. Uh, and, and I said, they tell me to shut up and come around the window. That's what I said. I said that those words, shut up and come around to the window and we'll handle it there. Oh, she said, Oh my God. And she went up in a fury and she said, who told you that? Did somebody here tell you that? Did somebody here? Did, do you know who told you that? And I said, my God, lady, calm down. It's just a a phrase that was paraphrasing, right? That, that, those weren't the exact words. So I was like, I don't want you breaking anybody's legs or busting their arms. So just, you know, I said, like, if I remember it, I'll do it. You know, if I remember it, I'll do it at the window. Uh, if I don't, it'll be at the mic and then you'll just have to handle it at the register. And <laughs> my God, I hope you fucking live. Really? Uh, but bottom line is I don't want, I don't like a fast food employee telling me what I have to do, right? I'm not the one working there. If anybody needs to be told what to do, it's the employee at the, at the restaurant, not me. I don't work there. What the hell do I care how easy their job is? It's not my job to make their job easier. Uh, don't look to me for that. Uh, so that's it. That's my thought for today. Have a good evening. Enter a world of darkness and desolation, of delusion and destruction, of daring and death. Enter the personal hell of Christopher Irving in the thrilling novel This Side of Midnight by David Hawk. Christopher, a recluse and a failure, collects corpses for company and the dead become better friends for him than the living. But a mysterious voice threatening his own death puts Christopher on a mission of violence and murder as the only way to save himself. The line between the living and the dead becomes blurred with deadly consequences in this dark psychological thriller. Get your exciting copy of This Side of Midnight by David Hawk. Available in ebook and paperback at Amazon.com. Search This Side of Midnight David Hawk, spelled H A L K, or click on the link in the description below.